Addition of integers. We follow two rules while adding integers. These rules are 1. To add a positive integer means we move to the right of the number line. 2. To add a negative integer means we move to the left of the number line. Let us understand addition of integers using these examples. Example 1. Add minus 2 and 3. We write this problem like this. Minus 2 plus 3. We use a number line to solve this problem. Mark the first integer on the number line. Since we are adding a positive integer, that is plus 3. So, as per our rule, we start from our first integer, minus 2, and move 3 steps towards right. We reach at 1. Therefore, minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. Example 2. Add minus 2 and minus 3. We write this problem as minus 2 plus minus 3. Since we cannot write two signs one after the other like this, we put a bracket here. Using the number line, we first mark the first integer, that is minus 2. Since we are adding a negative integer, that is minus 3, so as per our rule, we need to move three steps towards left. We reach at minus 5. Therefore, minus 2 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 5. We can also write this problem as minus 2 plus minus 3, which is equal to minus 2 minus 3, equal to minus 5. Remember the important points. 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. 2. For adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. Example 3. Add 3 and minus 5. We write this problem as 3 plus minus 5. Since we are adding a negative integer, that is minus 5, so as per our rule, we need to move 5 steps towards left. We reach at minus 2. Therefore, 3 plus minus 5 is equal to minus 2. We can also write this problem as 3 plus minus 5, which is equal to 3 minus 5, equal to minus 2. Remember the important points. 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. This is our first sign rule. 2. For adding a positive integer and a negative integer, we find the difference in their values and prefix the sign of the integer with greater value to the difference. Example 1. Find the sum of this problem. Before solving this problem, let us do a small recap of all the important points that we have studied till now. We know that 1. Plus and minus becomes minus. 2. For adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. 3. For adding a positive integer and a negative integer, we find the difference in their values and prefix the sign of the integer with greater value to the difference. Let us solve this problem stepwise. Step 1. Look for double signs. If there are any double signs, then remove that first. This becomes minus 2, minus 3, plus 4, minus 4, minus 2. Step 2. Look for opposite numbers. If there are any opposite numbers, then cancel that out. We see that minus 4 and plus 4 cancels each other as they are opposite to each other. Step 3. Start solving the problem from left. Consider first two integers, find their sum and add the third integer to it. Here, minus 5 minus 2 is equal to minus 7. Remember, for adding two negative numbers, we add their values and prefix minus sign to their sum. Example 2. Find the sum of 56, minus 72, minus 86 and 29. Write the problem as 56 plus minus 72 plus minus 86 plus 29. Step 1. Remove the double signs. 56 
minus 72 minus 86 plus 29. Step 2. Look for opposite numbers. As this problem doesn't have any opposite numbers, we will go ahead to step 3. That is, start solving the problem from left side. So, 56 minus 72 gives minus 16. Bring down the rest of the integers. Now, minus 16 minus 86 gives minus 102. Again, bring down the last integer. Minus 102 plus 29 gives minus 73.